Question four. This question is about <clears throat> the molecule called prenol and the related reaction. Part A. Prenol can be formed by reactions of G with sodium hydroxide aqueous. Okay, so this is the compound G, and this compound G will form uh, the prenol. The difference is this part. Okay, and this part. So from here we know that it must undergo uh, the nucleophilic substitution. Okay, so uh, and complete the diagram shows the mechanism. Include all the charge, partial charge, uh, lone pair, curry arrow, all this. Okay, so first you start with hydroxide. Hydroxide must must show the a negative charge, lone pair on oxygen. Okay, draw an uh, an arrow from the lone pair point to the partial positive carbon. And of course the CCL you must put the partial positive negative. Okay, partial negative on chlorine. Okay. After that, you must show the CCl bond break. Okay, draw one arrow from the CCl bond and point to the chlorine. So means after the bond break, this pair of electrons will move to the chlorine. Okay, after that, you will form the prenum, right? Okay, so this one, this is the part. Huh? This is the part that you need to draw for the A. Okay, part B, prenol reacts with steam to form a mixture of three isomers with the molecular formula c 5 h 2 Okay, and when J is heated with excess acidified potassium dichromate, it forms an organic product which show no reaction with 2,4-DNPH. Okay, so which means it's not going to form uh, the this uh, carbonyl group so we are quite sure that the J it cannot be oxidized so the alcohol that cannot be oxidized it must be a tertiary alcohol so how to form tertiary alcohol so we know that it's going to add H2O inside so means one carbon will get OH another carbon will get H so in order to form the tertiary uh, alcohol, the OH must bond to this carbon. This H must bond to this carbon. Then it can form tertiary. After it's formed the new bonding, uh, so the C with OH now it has one, two, three alkyl group. So it's tertiary. Okay, so we are quite sure that now the J is this structure. And K and L is the isomer of J just now. And the molecular formula is c 5 h 2 And K and L both react uh, when heated with excess acidified potassium dichromate. Uh, 6 to form the M. Uh, so here we know that uh, the K and L now it can be oxidized. So of course we know that the K and L <coughs> it must different from the J here. Just now the J is <coughs> OH uh, is formed bonding with this carbon and H with this carbon. So means K and J most likely is <coughs> hydrogen will bond to this carbon and OH will bond to this carbon. So you will form the, the K and L isomer. But if let's say <clears throat> you want to know uh, how many primary and how many secondary involved, so you can use this to deduce it. Okay, first you have to compare the molecular formula before and after. Okay, before is c 5 h 2 2 after is c 5 h 8 3 means that uh, it's remove 4H and add 1O. Okay, for the primary alcohol, if it's being oxidized, first, 
it will remove two hydrogen okay, this one and this one then it's form aldehyde and it will add another oxygen here to form COOH if the alcohol is secondary alcohol so it just remove 2H from here Okay, so in this part, we know that it's removed 4H at, at 1O means uh, it's going to be one primary alcohol and one secondary alcohol in the structure because total here will be 2 plus 2 okay, and plus 1O. Okay, so means it's 2H plus 2H is 4H and add one O here so therefore we know that the structure must have one primary and one secondary now, this is how we deduce uh, uh, how many primary and secondary in the structure if there is <coughs> now after that after they oxidize uh, it will form M M form orange precipitate with 240 NPH. So means it shows that it has carbonyl group. Okay, part two. Give the structural formula for K and L. Okay, if you know it look like this, then you can give the structural formula. Okay, so it's CH3, CH3, CH2, sorry, CH3, bracket, 2, CH, CH, okay, OH, CH2, OH. Okay, it's here name the type of stereoisomerism shown by K and L okay they must be optical because it has one chiral carbon here this carbon bonded to to one two three four groups so it has chiral carbon means it will show optical isomerism okay part four give the balance equation to represent the reaction of K this one with the acid 5 potassium dichromate to form M. Very easy. So what you need to do is you must show the okay the balance equation uh, C5 H12 O2 okay will form this C5 H8 O3 as I told you just now this one and you have to use the oxygen with square bracket to uh, represent the oxidizing agent okay here you have to add two because uh, it's lost four hydrogen okay and this one <coughs> you just need to balance it with three O uh, then you get the equation so remember when there is a hydrogen remover Hydrogens will combine with the oxidizing agent from H2O. So since four hydrogens removed, it must form four H2O. And add one oxygen here, total it needs three oxygens. Okay, part C1. Prino is has the alkene functional group. Describe a chemical test to confirm the presence of this alkene. Uh, nowadays uh, is uh, we just say that it's CC double bond okay uh, we just use bromine water because orange okay uh, the orange solution will decolorize or will turn colorless part two the prino can be polymerized to form polyprino draw one repeat unit okay this is a prino uh, very easy just remove the pi bond okay add tails so you get this Okay, the isoprino is a structure, structural isomer of prino. Okay, this one. And the series of reactions shows how isoprino can be used to form Q, the last one. Okay, a sweet smelling liquid means ester. Okay, part one, give the name of N. Very easy. So this is the first carbon, second, third, fourth. 
so this one is the methyl group and it's uh, bonded to the third carbon so it's three methyl okay the carbon main chain is four carbon so it's butane one o ox oh bonded to the first carbon so it's butane one o okay part two Isoprene is a liquid. Nickel acts as a catalyst in reaction 1. Identify the type of catalyst shown uh, by the nickel in reaction 1. This one. Nickel is okay, solid form. The isoprene, which is a reactant, is liquid. Liquid and solid, different phase. That's why the nickel is the heterogeneous catalyst. Heterogeneous means different phase. Okay, draw the skeleton formula of Q and suggest one commercial use of Q. Uh, very easy. Okay, this is the P that form after oxidation. So it's from carboxylic acid. Okay, and this carboxylic acid will react with ethanol. So ethanol means, okay, this one will remove OH and ethanol will remove H. Then it will form a new bonding. So it will form ester bond and it will be ethyl group here. So that's why Q is look like this. Ethyl group here with ester bond okay, and the, the, semi, uh, the same structure. Okay, so you get this skeleton formula okay, for the Q. The commercial use is the sovereign. It's used as a sovereign perfume or flavoring. Okay, part E. P can be produced, okay, as shown, this one, a carboxylic acid. Okay, for part one, the progress of reaction one can be monitored using IR spectroscopy. One absorption that can be used to monitor the progress is CCL, means that uh, the formation of CCL, if there is a presence of CCL, means it's uh, forming more and more and more, right? Identify another absorption that can be used to monitor the progress of this reaction. Uh, it's quite easy because after the reaction one, we know that CC double bond is gone. So means we have to monitor the CC double bond okay, with the absorptions in the range of 1,500 to 1,680. Part two, state the reagents needed for reaction two, this one. Okay, chlorine being substituted by the cyanide and it will form nitrile so this one is very easy the reagent needed must be KCN uh, the potassium cyanide name the react type of reactions that occur in reaction 3 this one the nitriles that form it will undergo hydrolysis because it's acid with water and this carbon will form COOH this carbon will form COOH like this Okay, that's why the name of the uh, name the type of reaction okay uh, for the reaction tree is hydrolysis hydrolysis yeah okay part four the u of the reaction one is very low explain why uh, u of the reaction one okay this one from this alkene to this halogeno alkene this one is a minor product why why this is minor Okay, then you have to refer to the carbocation. Okay, this one is how it uh, reacts. Okay, this CC double bond, right? It will form new bonding with the H. The H can go to this carbon or this carbon. Means the H will can form bonding with this carbon or this carbon. Okay, when the H bonded to this carbon, then it will form this tertiary carbocation, which is the most stable, and it will form the major product, this one. But in this question, okay, the first part already told you that this is the product that form. Okay, uh, this is a minor product because it's formed from the primary carbocation. Okay, because the hydrogens in the HCl bond to this carbon and eventually it will form this primary carbocation.
which is less stable because this carbon is has one alkyl groups only this carbon is has three alkyl group so it has more positive inductive effect so it's more stable for major product okay so therefore here this is explanation one coral two methyl propane is formed for it means this one this one is formed from primary carbocation which is less stable than tertiary okay this is a primary less stable the primary carbocation okay it has lesser positive inductive effect as it just has one one alkyl groups only okay that's all for this question thank you